So last time we had some examples where we applied the Morgan's theorem, but they were very simple because they had a direct implication of the Morgan's theorem. Now, now I want to come up with some other examples. They will be a bit, only a bit harder. Let's uh, let's come up with something like that. Uh, say. A B negated plus B multiplied by uh, C negated plus C uh, say D both negated and we negate the whole thing. Uh, so as we can see from this chart, we can apply. Uh, the version of uh, De Morgan's theorem for addition, this one, and we can think about this term and this one as A and B in De Morgan's theorem. So we, uh, so this way is equal these terms, where we multiply them by, the, by each other and negate them. So let's. Uh, Let's do that. So we have first term, which is AB negated, and then we negate it again as in the Morgan's theorem. Then we multiply it by this term and negate it. B, C negated plus C, D negated, plus, uh, and we negate this term as in here. And I I need to say that very often uh, it's very simple and silly mistake that I do all the time is that I forget that uh, if you have plus in the left part then in the right part you will have minus and vice versa uh, and you should really try to not forget this fact. So if we had multiplication under the big uh, bar, then we have multiplication on the right side, and vice versa. And so this will equal, then we have, can apply uh, De Morgan's theorem for multiplication for this case. It's nearly the same, except we have bar. Uh, of B as well. So the, this term will be A negated, as in this formula, plus B negated and negated again. So this, this negation is the one right here. And the negation above it, uh, this one, is the negation that we got from the De Morgan's theorem. Yeah, like that. Uh, and we we can leave this negation alone, but we all we also know that uh, if something is negated twice, then it's the same thing. You remember from our first lecture or something like that that a negated twice equals to a. So we basically we can uh, erase these two bars above b. Yeah, then we have uh, now this part multiply by, and we also apply again the Morgan's theorem, but now we think uh, it's also for multiplication. We think uh, we can map uh, the Morgan's theorem on this uh, equation like this. This is one part of the product, and this is another one, like here, A and B are. And so this will this uh, will equal first part negated plus another one negated like this. So we open the brackets because uh, uh, we will have separation from the left part, uh, and so uh, we write B and negate it as in De Morgan's theorem. Then we uh, write plus 
and negate the right part, uh, which is C negated plus C D negated. Yeah, both negated. Then we negate the whole thing. It's oh no, so yeah, right. We negate the whole thing as in here. And now we, I think, we close the bracket. Yeah, it was one uh, possible way, but another possible way would be to open this bracket inside the negation and then apply the Morgan's theorem. There are many ways to do the same thing in always, always in math as well as in, in engineering. So we should check it. We did the right thing. So this is one term. This is another term, like here. Yeah, and we negate it now. Right, looks like right. Uh, then what we have, let's go further. Let's rewrite this bracket. Let's not open it for the time and deal with these parts. We have P negated plus. And we can again apply, apply now version for addition of the Morgan's theorem. So we have uh, the result of this will be uh, C negated and negated again as in this formula. So A in this formula will be C negated, then uh, the whole thing will be C negated, negated twice, plus C D. Uh, what a pity, we need to negate it twice. Uh, I thought that we would solve this one again. but. Never mind, we already applied uh, the Morgan's theorem several times. That should be enough for this uh, example. Now we should check it. Yeah, yeah, nice, and we made a mistake. And actually, I really often do that, and I saw that people very often forget that by some means, I'm not sure why, but if you had uh, some if you had addition under the big uh, bar, then you will have multiplication when the bars are separated. So it's the rule of the Morgan's theorem. You need to forget it and to look closely every time you do that, so that you don't make silly mistakes. I do all the time, but if you check it, then it's going to be better. It's a very silly mistake. Yeah, but we do that. I hope I didn't do that somewhere here. But then, uh, is that right? Okay, we had addition, and it became multiplication. And we negated each, each one after, after we did manipulation. And now we can just erase double, double negation, and you should know why. Then uh, next, what is it equal? We can now uh, open brackets, but let's uh, we can actually do something with this part. Uh, I would rather it's multiplication, so I would rather write it more close to each other. So it's C C D, and you might remember that one variable multiplied by the same variable should be something. Uh, that we can simplify actually. Oh, can we? Uh, <laughs> let's see. I actually don't remember. I don't remember all things in Boolean algebra. I usually look them up somewhere. Yeah, so we have uh, a multiplied by a equals a. That means that c multiplied by c will equal c. So we can rewrite this part. This will be only c. Let's write, rewrite it. Uh, just have, we'll take our time. Multiplied by b negated plus c d. And now let's open the bracket. There, there is. It's, it's not going to be any more the uh, Morgan's theorem to apply here. But anyway, let's finish it. Multiply a negated by b negated plus a negated by c d plus b b negated plus b c d 
And again, BB negated, that looks like something we can make much simpler. Yeah, it's actually zero. One variable multiplied by the same variable negated equals zero, as we remember from first lectures. So the whole thing will be this part will be zero. So let's write the thing that looks like it is the answer. Okay, I'm not quite sure that this is uh, the simplest possible uh, version of this of this example. Maybe we can simplify it further using Karnama uh, technique, and I think you should try it out. Uh, it would be interesting. But very often it's uh, it's normal way to simplify things. First, you have uh, some crazy equation with uh, lots of bars, lots of brackets. Then you, ah, well, you have, then you have several uh, ways to do that. You actually could apply Karnama uh, technique on this directly. Yeah, that's actually a good uh, uh, possibility. You can directly make a truth table out of that, and then uh, solve it. But as well, you can. First, uh, make it uh, simpler by applying the Morgan's theorem, and then make a truth table out of this one. Because uh, uh, if you have uh, a lot of a lot of variables, for example, in this case, in this case we have uh, four variables a, b, c, d, right? Then you will have uh, uh, sixteen cases. To to have you will have sixteen lights in truth table, and that's. Uh, that's a lot, and uh, it will be easier to have these cases for this expression than for the one that we initially had, right? But it's up to you. But anyway, it's useful to have uh, to know uh, the Morgan's theorem, even though you can do. Uh, practically everything with uh, Karnamak technique. But then I really uh, encourage you to, to go and make uh, this one or this one and apply Karnamak technique. So you can have uh, some full example from top to bottom from very unsimplified uh, expression to very simplified one. So I think that's it for this example.